favorite park here at Disney World. Lots of stuff to do today, lots of things to see. Our first stop is gonna be a ride that I have yet to ride here, and surprisingly, I've waited until December to ride this, and that is Mission Space. We got our orange tickets, yes. Uh, I'm nervous. Are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Maybe I should have worn glasses today. I feel my glasses would go up in my face. Oh, great. Casey, I don't know how I feel about this. This is very tight. Holy moly. This is going to be a very intense ride, so I'll see you later. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be worse. I'm feeling kind of I'm feeling a little sick, though. I am feeling a little sick. I heard that if you stick your tongue out while you're riding it, you feel the G-force on my... I can feel the G-force on my tongue. I'm really happy because I saw the words Mission Accomplished. Yeah, I told you. I'm a little tad sick. One crazy ride after another. We are now going to ride Test Track. Woo! Designing our car. Woo! It's beautiful. Look at all that pixie dust on there. Love a Duffy, thank you. Already got Canada on there. And welcome to the UK. Gonna get a stand. This is my fourth Duffy. I have a lot of Duffies. Hi, how are you? I'm fantastic. Having a nice day so far? Absolutely. There we go. We're gonna skip France for a little bit so we can go eat lunch at my favorite quick service place to eat here at Epcot, and that is Tangerine Cafe. We got a meatball platter over here, and you got a chicken platter, and I got the lamb shawarma platter. Okay, Tangerine Cafe. Mm. I love it. It's so good. Like how you can build it, so I take a little bit of the pita, a little bit of the lamb, and the salad, and the tiki sauce, and the hummus, and make this beautiful thing that I like to eat. Aww. Let's go get stamped. Ooh, I love Morocco. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Olivia. Thank you so much. And now we're back to France. 
Look at the architecture of Triumph. Hello, how are you? How are you? I enjoy your hat. Oh, France, look at the little Eiffel Tower. We're now waiting to meet Belle. I have not met Belle ever, like ever, in her blue dress. Hi, Belle, how are you? I'm great, how are I'm, you today? I am fantastic. What is like your favorite book to read, or one of your favorites? It's something? really hard to choose. You know, I have a lot of books in my library, and I enjoy them all. But if I had to pick one that I just really love to read all the time, probably have to be Aurora's story. I think it's wonderful. Yay, it's one of my favorites too. I like those little fairies that fly Absolutely. around. Absolutely. She's kind of funny, isn't she? <laughs> she wants so much more than this provincial life. Just watch, I'm going to make Belle my wife. <laughs> I've never met Belle in her provincial outfit before. That was amazing. Whoa, look at Belle's autograph. That's a lot of swirly doodahs. Here, you asked about the decorations in Beer Guest yeah. last night, and she said, Lumi, I really like to decorate the castle for the holidays. He just loves decorating. So, where am I next? One of my absolute favorite places to go to. Ah, my go sandwich! And look, there's a holiday one. I have to try it, even though I haven't had the chocolate in a while, but I just have to try it. I mean, I guess I just have to come back, right? To get the chocolate. <laughs> what a shame. Look how festive it looks! Peppermint! Let's try this peppermint macaroni cream sandwich. This is beautiful. Ready? One, two, three. Mm, that tastes like Christmas. It's not a very strong peppermint. It tastes like real peppermint, like the leaf, not the like artificial taste, which I really, really like. I mean, it looks like Christmas. It tastes like Christmas. Mm, Merry Christmas. Oh, I ate that really, real, really fast. I still think the chocolate's better, but it's because I'm a chocolate person. Still doesn't mean that it was delicious. I just love how the macaroons always so soft in the middle. It was so good. Hey Casey. Yeah. You ready to go to Pizza Kosher, the best yeah. Japanese store? It's the best store in Epcot, in my, my opinion. Best okay. store. Best Bye. store. Yay, Casey. So pretty. Ooh. Hi, Shino. Hey, hey. Good. How are you? Hi, Yuri. So there is my name in Japanese, Olivia and Hiragana. Hi, how are you? In USA, USA, USA. We actually just like zoomed past a few pavilions. We're right in China. It's the pavilion of our people, can you see? The pavilion of our people. China. Jasmine! Hi, how are you? We all got our real Chinese names on here. That's mine. My auntie Denise's is down there. My real Chinese name, the one I was given a birth. <sighs> Chan Mei Lai. We know how to pronounce it right? No. Oh, happy birthday. Yay! Are you invited to sit along the road okay. to provide comfortable views for all guests? We ask that everyone in the courtyard please sit during the as well. Yes, please! Oh, of course, can I have a hug first? Of course! Thank Yay! You. Where's Cricky? Well, Cricky, I know, is hopping around here somewhere, mm -hmm. but. You know, Li Xu, I heard, scared him earlier. No. So he might be hiding with General Shang. Yep, in Kantu. Yeah. <laughs> not a cow. He's not a cow. Thank you. Yeah. If you, if you could just reassure him. Yes. Li likes to make fun of him all the time. I know. <laughs> Is he still making porridge? Oh, no. You see, no. he just lets cr crickets hop into my porridge all the time. Oh, so no. sometimes mm -hmm. they're not even cricky. It's not even lucky porridge. No, right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mulan! Mulan's one of my favorite princesses. Her and Aurora, they're my favorite. And she had us do her favorite, one of her favorite warrior poses, which involved doing like I'm trying to hold my autograph book. Casey, demonstrate the warrior pose we had us do. Hiya, hiya! Yeah, she went one, two, three, hiya! Because she said there are Huns hiding in the bushes. They're popping up like daisies. We are now in Norway because they're having a certain signing over here. As you can see, look, it's the guy who made the Lila perfume. Over 30? Uh, over 30, it was over 30. Exactly. Really clean, like, uh, yeah. what is your first name? Denise. D-E-N-I-S-E. Thank you so much. Okay, you. Have a nice, happy holiday. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank, thank you. you. That was really nice. We got to meet Gear, is that his name? Some, some fairly fancy man who gave perfume to celebrities. Yes, he signed that picture and the perfume bottle for my aunt, so that was really nice. Now we are meeting a happy chappy with a snappy serapi. You'll find him beneath his sombrero. Oh yes, it is uh, It is Pato Donald. Hi Donald, I love your outfit so much. And Ponchicho and Jose are doing well. Did Jose take you to Bahia again? Of course, because once you go to Bahia, you never return. Of course, number one for the number one caballero. I love Pato Donald. You're going up the stairs into 
the Mexican Pavilion because they've never seen the inside before. But it was really wonderful seeing Pato Donald. Pato Donald. Try to say it right. The three caballeros is something that ugh, I love three caballeros so much. You see how when I ride the three caballeros Grand Fiesta tour, how I'm just like, <laughs> I, love, I love Jose and Panchito. They're underappreciated. I love the three caballeros. And to see all of them looking like that, I was so excited. The three caballeros, three caballeros, they say we are birds of a feather. Speaking of the three caballeros. Like she said, we just met Donald, and I'm, okay, last time I met you, you had to keep him in line, because you know Donald's always getting in trouble, and we all know who the real boss is. I told him he wasn't number one, and he got really, really upset. So I thank you so much for telling him, you know, like, because you're the boss. Yeah, let's be honest, Daisy's number one, yes. Uh, Daisy was adorable. She was so excited. She was jumping up and down, cool, because I was jumping up and down, but... I mean, who wouldn't be excited to meet Daisy Duck? And then when she signed the autograph book, she she kissed the Donald right next to her. He, she kissed his signature. She was adorable! Can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this is? Just look at it with the Fountain of Nations going. <laughs> 